This is your standard dirty brown American lobster. But not all lobsters are this color. In fact, some are blue, orange, and even two colors. But what's really interesting is that all of these different colored lobsters, when cooked, will turn out the same bright red hue. But why is that? To find out, we visited the New England Aquarium to ask Dr. Michael Tlusty, who studied lobsters for the past 15 years. He actually grows unusually colored lobsters so he can study shell disease, which weakens a lobster's shell, potentially leaving it defenseless in the wild. This disease affected almost a third of the lobsters caught in southern New England last year. Lobster color is caused by pigments, which are anything which causes a, a color. They eat a red pigment called astaxanthin. It's only eating a pigment that makes it red. Astaxanthin is an antioxidant that helps lobsters cope with stress. A relative of the orange compounds in carrots, astaxanthin also gives salmon its red color, and lobsters get their astaxanthin from eating plant material. So when the lobsters eat the astaxanthin, the red pigment goes into the skin, and that's where it shows up as being red. Then the pigment gets moved up into the shell, and when it stores it in the shell, uh, proteins grab the pigment and twist it around, and it actually turns to a blue color, and then later on, they get twisted again and they turn yellow. So when we look at lobsters in any crustacean, you actually look through a layer of yellow pigment, through a layer of blue pigment, down to the skin, which is red. And it's all the stacking up of the different colors that lets us see lobsters as this kind of muddy brown color. And now this isn't a cooked lobster. As you can see, he's live. His mom was red. She lacked the ability to make the proteins to grab the pigment and twist it and turn it blue. So he's trying to store all of the pigment that he eats, and it's just being stored in a red phase. If we start removing the pigment from the lobster's diet, we take out that underlying red layer of astaxanthin and we're left with just the blue lobster. We're just left with this blue pigment. So this is what we call a dietary blue lobster. It's blue because of its diet. If we would increase the amount of astaxanthin, this pigment that it eats, it would go back to being a normal wild colored lobster. So color in lobsters really depends on two things. Their diet, which gives them the red pigment astaxanthin, and their genetics, which determines how much protein they have. Now we can't control a lobster's genes, but we can control their diet, and that's how Tlusty changes a lobster's color to study shell disease. Shell disease is caused by bacteria in the ocean. These bacteria burrow into the lobster's shell and eat it away until it's almost gone. A lobster in the wild without its shell is practically defenseless against predators, so research groups along the New England coast are working to learn more about this disease. So the whole reason we have this lobster lab is to study this disease, and that's where these weird colored lobsters come in really handy because this is a lobster that is actually going through an attack of shell disease and if you look at this small spot on its claw right there is actually the first attack of a bacteria on the shell and we see that as a darkening spot so we like these blue lobsters because we can see this first attack really easy if you imagine having a normal colored lobster it would be really hard to see this little brown spot show up and so that's why we actually use diet to change the color of lobsters because it actually makes the study of disease much, much easier. So now that we've learned about the different layers of color in a lobster shell and how those colors can be used to study shell disease, let's get back to the big question. What happens to those colors when the lobster is cooked? Colored lobsters turn red when you cook them because the proteins that twisted the pigment astaxanthin around to produce yellow and blue hues can't handle the heat and fall apart. Astaxanthin, on the other hand, remains stable in the heat, leaving a bright red lobster on your plate. <laughs> you really don't. I have two kids, and so it's um, two fish. There's the red fish and the blue fish. So, it's not a lobster. <laughs> 